Tango Alpha 1's frame is getting a new color. So I've prepped all of this with a uh, brass wire wheel and then a um, scotch Bright pad. And I've cleaned it off with acetone and I put a layer of gray primer followed up by a layer of cobalt metallic blue and then clear coat on top of it. Now I could probably do even better. You can see a little bit of orange peel once this stuff has had a chance to really cure. could probably go in there and buff it. I don't know that I'm going to worry about it because I am really satisfied with the way this is looking. Now here's an added benefit. You can't really see it here right now because it's dark, but depending on how the sunshine hits this, it actually changes color from this cobalt metallic blue to like a plum purple. So it's a bit iridescent and that was an unintended side effect, but I'm really liking it. So I'm just showing right now, just the sections back here. Um, I haven't clear coated any of this up here yet. The camera's kind of going in and out of focus because of, uh, well, you know, a lot of details are kind of moving around. But so far, I've stopped right here behind the fuselage uh, tank. I still need to clean a lot of that. You can see some of that that I prepped there. Uh, need to pull that tank back off and prep the rest of all of this up here and mask off what I don't want painted. There's the uh, fuel tank, the lower lower bar, and I think I think I'll carry this this blue right under the fuel tank and just follow that right in. But I'll mask off the interior floor panels and leave those aluminum. Um, Instrument panel is not in any bad shape or anything. Uh, you can kind of still see those uh, swirl marks that I put on it a couple years ago. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got all new switches and everything for the airplane and all new uh, wiring, insulated um, wire. Well, insulated is not the word. Shielded wire is what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking about I've got some uh, carbon fiber uh, vinyl wrap that they put on the cars and I want to put that on my instrument panel now because I've changed the geometry remember I removed the landing gear or when I put the landing gear back on I made them two inches farther back than the plans called for um, looking for being able to get the tail up off the ground a little faster uh, we'll see if that works out or not, but because I did that it kind of changed the geometry of everything And you can see that top turtle deck does not necessarily uh, Line up the way it used to so I may be making a new top turtle deck there uh, Firewall is in place engine is not in there, but I've used um, Some metallic metal flake For the firewall and I'll probably clear coat that as well I'm not sure if I'm liking the color, but it pretty much won't be seen uh, once I fabricate a new cowling for it. Um, but it looks a lot nicer than just the bare aluminum. And of course, once we put the motor mount and everything on, we'll go ahead and finish that off as well. So I know you guys were commenting on my picture uh, in the hangar. Of course, that was an old picture of Tango Alpha 1. You know, we're still working on it. Uh, we're making slow progress, uh, but I really want this thing to come out real nice uh, when we get it back out there. So let me know if you guys think I ought to carry that blue into the landing gear, or maybe I should just clear coat it, make it silver uh, for a little contrast, or if we carry that cobalt blue all the way down to the wheels. Anyway, just a short video. Uh, let you guys see what's kind of going on with Tango Alpha 1. It's like the farther I go, and the more I do, the more I want to do. So, I do have enough aluminum if I want to remake this, I can. Uh, just because of some of the alignment issues. Um, we'll see what I end up doing. Alright guys, that's five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video.
Hope you all enjoyed this. Talk to you all later.